Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and in this battle, I'll be going, uh, I'll be doing a 2v2, uh, with a random player. Many people hate doing random 2v2s, so I thought I would give it a go for the content. So I start off by scouting, upgrading my HQ to level 2, and building my 5 supply centers as usual. Me and my partner scouted really good, and we can see my enemy already has fortresses out. Doesn't look like he has much of a base, and also, so does green. Now I go for HQ level 3, so I can get my hawks and jaguars out. Green desperately tries to scout me, and we can see he's, my ally is going for a shipyard. So, I hope he's going for alligators. Of course, I build a power plant and start start building my assault vehicle factory. Blue has gotten a pretty decent scout of me by now. So, I don't worry about scouts right now. All I worry about is making my base uh, faster so I can get hawks by the time if my enemy tries to rush me. Of course, I get my Avia factory up, and my partner does some naval scouting. And then I upgrade my, uh, my two factories, and I scout blue to see what he has. And by now, he has an extra supply center, and he has some fortresses. By now, I know that blue's gonna rush. But right now, I see green rushing instead. So I was wondering what blue was doing. And would you look at how how those fortresses just burn the infantry? It, it just shows that riflemen, they're, they're not that good. They're not. They're just not that good. Riflemen are probably the most, uh, the most weakest unit in the game. Despite that, it despite the ability that it can hide in forests, because that's only useful for scouting. And this attack would have been subdued if the heavy assaults did not come. And since the heavy assaults came, uh, my ally had a harder time fighting the the fortresses with the armadillos, and the heavy assaults just wrecked his building super fast. I told my partner to wait, and fall back. Because I had a hawk coming, so then I could target the heavy assaults. And so I start targeting the heavy assaults, because those are the ones, those are the infantries that deal most damage to armor targets and buildings. And after a few runs, the attack has lessened. And my ally has defended the attack so by now i have a stable jaguar production up and running as well as a hawk production so i won't be vulnerable against this kind of attack i build some extra supply centers so i can get the supply up and running so i won't have to worry about supply boosts and we can see he's building a construction yard to further expand his base. Now at this point in time, I was really wondering what Blue was doing. So, and I really wanted to see what Blue, what Blue was doing. And we can see he has hammers out. Hammers and fortresses. So he has armored units, which means Jaguars are a perfect counter to that. And he has no anti-air, so I decide to attack him with my hawks. And I disable, I mean not disable, uh, and I decide to maneuver my hawks and take down two power plants along with that anti-air tower that was going to be built. And in total, uh, 300 resources for power plants and... 270 resources for an anti-air tower gone. And by now we can see 
Both blue and green is attacking my ally with nothing but fortresses and heavy assaults. Now, this is a pretty, pretty bad move because uh, I have hawks, so I don't know what these guys were trying to trying to do. The splash damage of my hawks deal strong damage to the fortresses and no anti-air to, to counter my hawks. So his attack was pretty much wasted. Although my hawks did have to return because of the fuel issue. Because of the returning of my hawks, uh, my ally lost his HQ. And at this time, I wanted to counterattack blue with my jaguars. So I decided to go because I thought it would be a perfect opportunity. And it was. Green decides to help. And by now... Both of their attacks on my ally is totally gone. And you can see I am attacking my ally in a checker checkerboard position with my Jaguars. And my ally tells him to help defend, and I was like, wait, I will move my Jaguars to his base to help. And then I send some of my Hucks to counter some of his vehicles, the enemy vehicles. So, because with Jaguars, they won't get there in time. So, by now, blue is totally gone. And now it's just me, my ally, and green. And you can see the heavy assaults dealing pretty good damage to my Jaguars because my Jaguars are not upgraded. And so I lost two out of three Jaguars, and I had to bring in my Hawks to help. And at this moment, I wanted to attack Green as he was doing that attack. And I just realized he had three rockets on his rocket tower, which means his rocket tower is pretty heftily upgraded. I decided to attack his rocket tower, but it was too late. And I really have a lot of resources to use. I have 2.6k to be exact. We can see my ally is attacking my enemy with alligators. And with all those resources, I have HQ level 5. And to assist his attacks, I decided to move in my hawks. But since he had some pretty strong anti-air, I decided to fall back. We can see he's moving his alligators to maneuver uh, against the heavy assaults. And we can also see that he is rebuilding his HQ. And we can also see that he's using uh, either a red or gold naval strike, which means that he's actually trying hard to win the battle. And at this moment in time, since I had an abundance of resources, I decided to go for a nuke to end the battle pretty quickly. And you can just see Green's base getting demolished by my allies alligators. My ally decided to warn me if blue was coming out. So I tried scouting him, as you can see on the mini-map, and found that blue was not there. I said, wait, and then I said, look at my nuclear tower. Uh, he said, yes, and then he said, no. So I decided to tell him that I was going to attack because I didn't think he, was, he wanted me to attack. And he said negative, so I guess he didn't want me to attack. I was kind of confused on this. And then he said, I owe him one. So I was like, okay. It's for fun anyways. And then I asked, what do you mean? So, and then he pointed at his alligators. I'm pretty sure he meant that he was doing alligator contracts or something. And we can see green was preparing to attack. Of course, Green's attack 
is pretty useless because I have Hawks. Four Hawks will not lose to like three Typhoons, so that's an issue. But I decide to target uh, the enemy's heavy assaults to slow down the attack. Sorry for the lag, but if you saw that, he, he got even more Typhoons. So I lost two Hawks in that attack, but he has nothing but Typhoons now. I decide to rebuild my Hawks and my Jaguars. I asked him, when do you want me to nuke? Because the battle was prolonging even further and I didn't get a request or an answer. Green's attack is being wasted bit by bit because my ally now has towers up. And by now I was doing my coyote contracts to get those extra credits after the battle. I got pretty bored, so I wanted to attack a base with my nuke, so I decided to uh, attack my ally's base, just for fun. And he said negative, of course, because it's his base that's lost. <laughs> and then he said, haha, so he laughed. He said, you made me laugh. I feel good about that. Because the, you play a game for fun, so it's fun. I don't know what he meant by all of you agents of me, but I just went with the flow. I decided to move my coyotes in because my CP limit was almost full. So I can continue making more coyotes for my coyote contracts. Just look at how weak my coyotes are. Being like three-shotted by those heavy assaults. And good game.